This lace edging is a 12 row repeat worked over 23 stitches. For my sample I used fingering weight yarn and US size 8 needles. I just wanted to note that I did post the written instructions for this edging back in 2011. The video at that time only covered a few things in the pattern that I thought might be problematic for people like the quadruple yarn over in row 1 and how to work it in row 2. This updated video shows the stitch pattern in its entirety. For row 1, you knit 3, yarn over, knit 2 together, knit 3, Yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit five, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, Yarn over four times. So there's one, two, three, and four. Knit two together. Yarn over, knit two together. and knit one. For row two, you knit five, now this, um, our fifth knit stitch is going to be into the first of our four yarn overs. So you want to just knit as you normally would and then only slide one yarn over off the left needle. Then we're going to purl into the next yarn over and then just slide one of those strands off the left needle. Now we're going to knit into the next yarn over. Only slide off one more yarn over from the left needle. And finally we're going to purl into the last yarn over. Now we knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit 13, Yarn over, knit two together, and knit one. For row three, you knit three, yarn over, knit two together, Knit one, knit two together, yarn over, knit three, yarn over, knit two together, knit three, yarn 
yarn over, knit two together, knit one, yarn over, knit two together, knit four, yarn over, knit two together, and knit one. For row four, you knit eight, Purl one, knit two, purl one, knit thirteen, Yarn over, knit two together, and knit one. For row five, knit three, yarn over, knit two together, Knit two together, yarn over, knit five, yarn over, knit two together, knit two, Yarn over, knit two together, knit two, yarn over, knit two together, knit three, yarn over, knit two together, and knit one. For row six, knit seven, purl one, knit three, Purl one, knit thirteen, yarn over. Knit two together and knit one. For row seven, knit three, yarn over, knit three together. Yarn over, knit two together, knit three, knit two together, 
yarn over, knit two together, knit one, yarn over, knit two together, knit three, yarn over, knit two together, knit two, yarn over, knit two together, and knit one. For row eight, knit six, Purl one, knit four, purl one, knit eleven, Yarn over, knit two together, and knit one. For row nine, knit three, yarn over, knit two together, knit one, yarn over, knit two together, knit one, knit two together, yarn over, knit three, yarn over, knit two together, Knit four, yarn over, knit two together, knit one, yarn over, knit two together, and knit one. For row 10, knit 5, purl 1, knit 5, purl 1, Knit eleven, yarn over, knit two together, and knit one. For row 11, knit 3, yarn over, knit 2 together, knit 2, yarn over, slip 1, Knit two together, pass 
pass the slipped stitch over, yarn over, knit four, yarn over, knit two together, knit five, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, and knit one. For row 12, we're going to start by binding off three stitches. And I'm just using the knitted bind off. There's one. Two. And three stitches bound off. Then you're going to knit seven. Purl one. Knit eleven. Yarn over, knit two together, and knit one. And you'll just repeat those 12 rows for the pattern.